Hands. Hello everyone, it's Lady Catastrophe, and tonight I'm playing The Outer Worlds. Continuing where we left off last time. Okay, that's right. Give it a second. Alright. So, currently doing the space time continuum quest for Miss Catherine. And I was confused because I thought this was Sanjar's quest, but I think I have already done Sanjar's quest. So, and I still need to get that science weapon from in Cascadia, which thankfully is clear of all the nasties. So. I'll just have to make sure to do a detour and go and get that. Right now, I am trying to move the Alta Vitae gas. Yes, I have to move it on for sublight. So, yeah. Okay. Let's just get on with it. There we go. Okay. Let's put, I think I need to go back upstairs. Yeah, because that door doesn't open. So I need to take the elevator. Yeah, maybe. I think so. Had Ada land the ship in Cascadia now that I've cleared it completely of Marauders. I couldn't think I can't I keep wanting to say raiders, but it's Marauders. Before I do that, I should definitely find the weapon of the void. Oh man, is it down in the lab? Set abandoned lab. Hold on. Because I want to get that before we leave. It is back down in the lab. It is. It's back down on the lab. Oh, goodness. Of course, of course it's down in the lab. And if I would have had it selected, I could have gotten it last time. I wasn't focused on that last time. I was focused on the Alta Vitae gas. Now, now why is it telling me that? Why is it telling me that? What? But it told me to go down. What? Hmm. Unfortunate contractor didn't survive. One of his entries mentioned going back for the weapon. But it's... There's no upstairs. I'm getting all turned around by that little green dot. 
Okay, let's... Alright, I'll examine the map. But the map isn't telling me anything either, and it's only one level. Alright, let, let's, let's try this again. Maybe it's in one of the rooms upstairs. That's just gross. Sisty pigs. Hey. Nope. All right. Come on, game. Genesis telling me to go back down. Or not? This is a bandan lab weapon. Is it upstairs? No, but I was I was downstairs. Yeah, I wish I had some alcohol right now. The kind of day that I've had. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. So, if it's downstairs, where downstairs is it then? Because I am very confused. See? No, it's not... No, it's it's downstairs. Oh my god. But when I was downstairs. It was telling me no. Oh my goodness. It's like it can't make up its mind. Or I'm just really bad at reading the map. Because now it's saying... I don't know. This door is barred. Let's see. Oh, don't scare me like that, robot. It's probably in here. It's it's in here. Somewhere. Okay. Yeah. The door doesn't open. There's definitely... Oh, they're dead. Okay. There was more to the lab than I thought. Traps everywhere. Watch it. Yeah, I see that. Oh. Ding dong, don't get so close to it. Attacking. 
Oh. Oops. So we have... Okay, it's a mechanical. Say that, and I've got a fear of mechanicals. Oof, can't open that. Every time they put their weapons away, it kind of sounds like somebody's fixing to attack. Girl, don't get in the way. Goodness, it was forever a kill. Dude, they just run head first and everything. Ooh, nope. Nope, nope. Can't go that way. I would need a way to turn off all of that. So we're gonna go this way. All right, Ellie. Go. Oh my God. <gasps> There's so many. <gasps> oh, and it came up fast too. Ooh. Why am I on fire? What the fuck? Look at this, floaty barrels. So many. Where are you? Gotcha. I wonder where the rest of them are. Wondering. Oh God, Rizzo's purple juice. I wonder if this will do anything about the vents downstairs. Let's see. I want to align the fueling system. Connect storage tanks and initiate siphon to transfer fuel. Oh, this is where I needed to go for the main quest. They say I'm looking for the weapon, which I think is probably further in the lab. Well... Uh, am I gonna have to... Error. This terminal does not have administrator permissions required to transfer the Alta Vitae gas. Access is restricted to the executive research focus group terminal located in R&D labs. Are you kidding me? That was me? the hard part. Now it's just the part that might blow us up. Fun. It's oh god, I, I hate the big bugs. That's the last of them. 
is it? Are you fucking sure? Are you sure? Cause I've about had it with this stupid fucking planet and its giant fucking bugs. I'm so done with the giant bugs. So done. Absolutely done. Ugh. What the? There's a there's a person in there. That's a whole dead body. <laughs> That's a whole dead body. A shrine. That's just a dead body floating in some preservation fluid, I guess. Guthrie's Guthrie. It's probably Guthrie. Guthrie's testimonial. You were an excellent chimerist and a credit to our team. Upon a return to Byzantium, I will file to have the copyrights for our work made in your name. The companies will own them, but your name will be on every legal filing. People will see it and perhaps think of you. I hope this adequately communicates the depth of my esteem. I will forever appreciate your efforts to improve communication between myself and the rest of the team. I do not believe I will drink vodka again, however. Dr. Guthrie. Gotta admit, I ain't got a lot of sympathy for someone willing to experiment on themselves. Or any person, really. For real. Oh, I'll drink the vodka, sure. Is this like, uh, can I actually go in? Can I go? No. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna hear them. Look. The terminal. Research notes. Chief concern is rejection of the tissue. A problem as classical as limb transplant transplantation. Though obviously on a cellular level, cellular level. The scale of the problem, though, even with the Alta Vitae bolstering our effects, an achievement of such proportion has never been attempted or even considered. How do we define a, to a tolerable failure rate when the losses could swell to affect millions? Even 1% is unthinkable. I have much to consider. So this is where I transfer it. Oh no, this is just a note. I thought it was like a, the other button. The project has been reassigned to a secondary lab. I'm told the board is pulling out of Terra 1 and we don't even have time to transfer our research. For once, I'm grateful our labors didn't make significant strides here. I won't forget Tom's sacrifice. Up until the end, he knew it had to happen. If it wasn't one of us, the board would have volunteered inmates from Tartarus. I'll be sure to carry his example to the new lab and the next phase of human trials. That is terrible. All of these people are dying for their corporate overlords. I feel like I spend a, I spend a lot of this game doing this. Picking up stuff. Drugs, junk, weapons. Oh. Well, I'm not getting anything. Th did you see that? Did that just appear out of nowhere? And I can't even open it anyway. Hmm. So the weapon. Oh, oh, no! Are you kidding me? Why? Why? Why is there a Manta Queen everywhere? How can it even fit its fucking big ass in this, this lab? Why? I don't get it. Where's the shrink ray? Oh, I took the shrink ray off. Uh, 
This is bullshit! This is bullshit! <laughs> <laughs> oh look, I'm killing I'm killing it. Okay. Wait, oh, this might work. I'm on fire though. <laughs> I'm on fire! <laughs> oh my god. Oh look, it's down. It's down. Libations on me, folks. Kill the kill the living ones. Look, it's still shaking. Eh. Uh-oh. They're on the okay. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. Boost. Okay, the weapon is close. Or not? Is it actually on normal? Yes, it is on normal. It is. Because I feel like, or maybe I'm just getting, because I'm leveling up. Because it was a lot easier to kill that Mance Queen than I imagined it would be. Okay, connect storage tanks to the landing pad refueling system. So this is the next step of the main quest. Okay. Engineering. Please send a support ticket to your local engine. Ah, but you see, Morgan has smarticle particles. So we're gonna reconfigure. And that's how you do it. Great. Can we get out of here now? Between the machines and the experiments, my skin feels like it's got mana swarms inside it. Well, we did just spray ourselves with Mad Queen blood a minute ago. So. Okay. All right, let's. What? Uh... Wait a minute. It's so that that's gonna take me back outside. Okay, but where is the fucking weapon? Is it outside then? I don't know. You know what? We're just gonna find out. I mean. Oh wait. Oh no. Can I can I even? <gasps> it, it it's up there. It's up there. It's up there. I just have to jump. And I don't do well jumping in video games. So <laughs> I'm just gonna save again. <laughs> real quick. Real quick. And just take a sip of coffee real quick. Okay. All right, here we go. Maybe put the gun away so we can control it better. I did it. Huh? What is this? Did she fall? Oh, <gasps> she did. Oh, Nioka, what happened? She fell. What the fuck? Oh god! Is she okay? Oh, she, okay, she spawned right next to me. Alright, and there's another ladder. It's a fucking jumping puzzle. This is, this is great. Not really a puzzle, but it's like, jumping. I'm, I'm definitely jumping a bit. I'm just like... Jumping too hard? Maybe? <laughs> I 
looking <laughs> yeah, she's looking at me like it's my fault. Ah, mind control, Ray. A misfilled, misfiled form put a research group specializing in marketing jingles into an advanced top secret weapons research facility. The research group spent months incorporating their new marketing jingles into the advanced weaponry and developed the mind control ray because, you know, science doesn't matter really in this game. Once the mishap was discovered, the entire facility was shut down and all personnel were reassigned to the most remote outpost Corporate could find. It makes the enemies stagger. Well, guys, uh -huh. we found... Oh, I did it! I found all of the weapons of the Void! <gasps> hey! So that was the last one. Well, good. And now, okay, that quit, and that one's completed. I would just have to go back to. Oh, now am I supposed to get back? Jump, obviously. Okay, y'all, y'all need to move. Am I climbing down? Okay. So well, jumping across everything, <laughs> and then I fucking fall on the way back. <laughs> Am I gonna have to do a? Okay, okay. So it's saved. <laughs> Note to self: <laughs> Don't back up so fucking much. Okay. Take it slow. Okay. You see? <laughs> I backed up way too much. <gasps> oh my god, I'm gonna fucking Get break it up. Well, Ellie died, so. <laughs> this is. Oh, that was it. Get in the elevator. <laughs> Get out of this stupid. Oh, they're dying. <laughs> so, the drip back. Wasn't as smooth as the trip to get to the weapon, so. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, so I, I'm happy I've got all the weapons of the void, so. And some of them can do some really interesting things. I died too. <laughs> Used to be, you can get the best wine on Monarch here. You take us to the nicest places, Captain. You're welcome. The name of that drink was was Nanner Spank. Did y'all see the name Nander Spank? I have two of them. The last one. Parents, spank your children. <laughs> That's what it says. A delightfully banana reminiscent carbonated beverage. <laughs> and it says, parents, spank your children. <laughs> oh my god. What? Uh... All right. I need to eat and drink some of this stuff. I'll 
take the candy and the drugs. What's this do? Okay. Uh, the um, this one is lemon slap, carbonated lemon related beverage. Slap your whole family tonight. <laughs> And then Spectrum Vodka Red. The cheapest Spectrum Vodka. Rumors of it causing blindness have never been substantiated. After a day of using your blood to oil the machinery of capitalism, don't you deserve something red? <laughs> so, purple Berry Punch. You want a punch? We've got your punch right here. And this was the Purple Berry Shake. The finest purple berries are blended into our cream-laden woolly milk to make the juiciest milk you've ever tasted. Now pre-frozen and parasite-free. And then the purple berry fizzy tea. Extra carbonated so you know it's parasite-free. Mock apple cider. A hard cider for a hard life. The drinks. The drinks in this game, I swear. Alright. I'm gonna save. Again. And, uh... <gasps> Son of a bitch! I can't catch a break! I can't... Ugh! I can't... Hang in there, ladies. We got this. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Oh, what am I? Am I not even? I'm with the. Oh, the mana swarm. Where is she going? Don't come here! Oh my god, stay over there! Ah! Ah! I'm almost there. Just Ugh, fucking die already, you stupid bitch! <laughs> god! Ah! Oh, don't come closer! Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Ah, it's just right behind me. Oh god, ah. I'm dying. Okay. Thanks, Ellie. Oh no, I have a drug addiction. <laughs> oh. Taking as many drugs as you have has turned into an addiction, making you suffer withdrawal if you go too long without another hit. I are, you know, no, I don't, I don't want this one. No. <laughs> I deserve, I deserve to take as many as I need to survive this godforsaken planet. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. They were not kidding. They weren't. They were not kidding. When they said that this planet is full of ne'er-do-wells and monsters. Because that is... All I have found since landing on this stupid fucking planet. Okay? Now, I'm trying to figure out where I need to go. This is. Oh, look. Oh, Omega Raptor. That's just, that's just what I need right now. So the marauders have been eradicated and the critters have moved in. So that's fun. So that's fun. Um, I do have the Shrink Ray. Uh, I just don't have it equipped. Uh, 
all of the armor, all of the weapons. Ooh. What is, what, why does that have a name? <gasps> no, 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 no. We're gonna just, yeah, shh. God, oh my god. I was only down there for a little while and all and look all of the monsters decided to come creeping up here. Uh Okay. Have I done oh no, I'm not done with this planet. Uh see I can't leave because I still have to do this. Retrieve the gunship's targeting module and then decide which faction I am going to give that module to. Okay. Can I? I wonder if I. Oh, I can't fast travel when the hostiles are close by. Me, me, me. But I don't want to fight the hostiles. I just want to go in my merry way. Oh, I thought I could maybe... Okay. Ha. Nope. Nope. Son of a nut. Son of a nut. Maybe I can... Maybe I can snipe at them from a distance. Stupid. Here we go. Oh look, here they come. S stupid little up. Yeah, get away! They won't try that again. Okay, now we should be able to fast travel. As long as I don't engage that motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Oh, it's all the way over there. Hmm. Oh. Could I actually, like, walk there from where I am? Where are you? Yes. Oh, but I would have to get past the, the, the nasty boys down there. Okay, well, you know what? It's okay. It's okay. I can sneak around the back. Don't see me, 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 don't see me. I wish to not be perceived. You can sneak a little faster! What's in here? What's in here? A report written by Ariza Wildlife Specialist regarding Project Taro. It lists concerns that the higher than average volume of this word, corpses, may be attracting local wildlife. Combined with the alluring purple berry aroma coming from the Cascadia bottling plant, the engineer worries that Raptorons may be encroaching ever closer to the walls. Though the walls are theoretically sound, the engineer warns that they're relatively shallow and that particularly clever Raptorons could possibly dig beneath them or find their way into the chemical waste pipes. Feeling a little off balance? You need a level head. Okay. Oh 
you hear that thing growling over there? Ain't gonna catch me, no way, no how. I'm just gonna sneak. Sneaky sneak. Maybe, can I sneak around the back? Can I climb up that? Maybe I shouldn't. Look at all the red up there. What's this way then? I swear if it's another Mad Queen, I'm gonna fucking lose it. This way. Oh look, and we're on the right track. Oh. Wonderful. Oh look, two of them! There's two! There's fucking two of them! save okay. <laughs> I only have one shrink ray I can only shrink one queen at a time <laughs> maybe I can take some more drugs what do we got here let's see Have some chocolate. And and that. Okay. There's two of them. Oh my god, there's two of them. And I only have the one shrink gray. Oh! Too far away, huh? I'm, I'm shrinking it. You you go up there and kill it. I'm shrink. I'm literally shrinking it. One of y'all are attacking a different monster. That's unfair. Y'all aren't attacking the one I'm attacking. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's getting closer. <laughs> And I can't. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get up and run, you stupid bitch! <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck? <gasps> Why are there all of a sudden so many? Oh, it's gonna. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please stay away. Please stay away. Please stay away. Oh my god, I can't hide. I can't hide. I can't. I fucking can't hide. I can't hide. Oh my god, please tell me they went the other way. You guys were not a team! You were not helping me! Y'all went and attacked the whole other Mad Queen. Oh 
Oh, stupid fucking swarms. Alright, alright, fine, 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 whatever. Uh, which one was it? It was the, it was the flamethrower, right? It was this one. It was this one. Okay. The shrink ray works. It works really well. But I was up against more than one fucking Manta Queen, and my team decided, oh, she's got this. Got like a million. Oh, they're so close. Oh. Ugh, come on, die already. Oh. oh my god, load the fucking gun faster. audacity of that stupid thing. Look, it says, just kill it already. Are you kidding me? I'm trying to kill it already! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, she doesn't want to die. She's refusing. Oh, I'm just so, you know what? We're just, bye. We're just, I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run. Oh, she's so low. Is she coming? <gasps> oh, fuck. My baby. Don't look, don't look. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. <gasps> Ooh, I hate this planet. I hate it so much. Oh, I'm getting out. What? Get away from me, you stupid face of shit! This whole planet is trying to kill me! <laughs> oh my god! Where the fuck is the swarm? It's it you! Ugh! So much. I need to take a minute to breathe. Uh, 
Hey, welcome to the shit show. Glad you could make it. Where are my girls? Where, where, oh, there you are. You know, you know, y'all were not a team. Y'all were not cohesive at all. This was stupid. And hate mana queens and this stupid planet. I I am I, I probably need yep, I need to repair everything. Yes. I mean like you know they're they're my girls, okay? I love them. Yeah, I do. But they like run Right, they run. Captain, what? what? Where? Oh, see, now, now that's on me. I was not at all. Whoa! Oh, fuck! <laughs> that's on me! Oh, get away! Get away! Get away! Oh, okay. Cripple it. Maim. Maim. Shoot! 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 up right god love you so much but why do you do this oh that's it I'm, I'm just gonna get the module and oh no a nest Where I need to go. <laughs> of course it is. Because of course it is. Because this planet hasn't fucked me enough, has it? I feel like. See, there's a body there. And I feel like I, I probably should go and. and sh oh my god, there's just enemies everywhere. Enemies everywhere! Alright. There's two colo oh no two colossus uh my god Oh it sees me it sees me Okay can I save can I say I'm save and then just I'm going to go for it because I know that's not the, I know where I need to go is up there, but there's a dead body down there, and if it's important, I'm gonna regret it later. You know what? If you get sprayed by acid for running in front of me, that's on you, not me. I'M DONE WITH THIS PLANET! Oh, it's, it's just marauders. It's just marauders. It was nothing! But you have to check because you don't know if there's like a quest or something, you know? I'm gonna keep that is a gun. Get the fuck away! to get on that ship and get its a module and then I am going to go give it to one of the factions and then I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking leave I'm gonna leave I'm gonna get off this you stupid go on planet. ahead captain I'm not keen on ships even when they're in the best of shape me too you know corpses shit themselves right enjoy the smell thanks thanks guys thank you so much for for all of the help thank you Thank you so much. 
just gonna let me get on here by myself. I was just gonna stand guard out there. That's great. That's great. <laughs> Y'all are such a great team, huh? <laughs> oh my god. Captain Matsu's captain's key is active. <laughs> But his life signs are no longer detected on the bridge. Logging flight hours while not present for duty is a violation of UDL policy. <laughs> well, we are we are a band of misfits and outlaws, so I'm pretty sure that I am definitely not paying them enough to give a shit. <laughs> okay? And Yoka's not officially on the team yet. <laughs> She's just supposed to be, like, my guide. <laughs> I really do think she's the final team member. Let's see. Let's view the logs. Okay. So let's look at them in order. CE is saying something about spare regulator bypass something something. This word. I'm turning this thing toward the groundbreaker, firing up the engines and retiring. Better to be arrested than lose power and drift out into space. I just hope this old bird can handle one last trip. Hmm. How in this law forsaken colony is it so impossible to requisition parts? My chief engineer is barking at me to order yet another damn thing, and I can't even get a response from corporate. Seems about right. Another day, another ship lands on Terra 1, and we can't shoot them down. That makes... I've lost count. What's the point of being out here if we can't get some backup? They're probably talking about my ship. Mayday message playback. Hello. My name is Jen. I'm the chief engineer on this gunship, and I'd like to let the record show that our captain is a total fucking hullhead. <laughs> I told him again and again that without fixing our regulator and spinning up the engines, they're going to blow through our coils and we'll go flying off in a completely random direction. Well, here we are. Thinking we'll hit soil in uh, about 30 seconds. This is your chief engineer signing off for what is probably the last time. It's a shame you can't see this middle finger I'm holding up because I'm doing it as hard as I can. <laughs> she was pissed. <gasps> she died mad. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Diagnostics. The MK4 gunships operational parameters have exceeded acceptable damage ranges. The cost of any repairs necessary at your newest UDL repair facility will be averaged amongst the crew. That's bullshit. Warning, the integration module is responsible for controlling access to the ship's primary functions. Removing it will void your manufacturer's warranty. And despite removing it, the ship remains UDL property. Unauthorized access by parties not covered by UDL policy is a felony. Okay. So, what does that mean? Oh, okay. Further into the death ship. Ugh! Oh my god. Meh. Oh, okay, got stuck. All right. All right. The module is here. And now it's to decide who I give it to. 
What? Oh. Uh. <laughs> I don't like Graham. I really don't. Okay. Big old decision. I could give it to Graham. An ally with the Iconoclast. Now look. I like their message. They're anti-corporate. But the problem is, Graham runs it like a cult. He's got this mystical belief system. And it's crazy. So I could give it to Sanjar. An ally with the MSI. But Sanjar is kind of a dum-dum. Ugh. I don't know who to give it to. Easy. I really like Zora, and she's the voice of reason, and I'm really hoping that she shoots Graham in the head and takes over. Because that would be great. Because she would make an awesome leader. She's more of a survivalist and a realist. Uh, honestly, I, I'm not sure who would benefit me the most. Hmm. Hey, but I... Ah, but you see, Graham himself is a murderer, okay? Because he, in order to get rid of some corporate execs, he gave the passcodes to some pirates that came in and murdered not only the execs, but all of their families, too. Like, people who were innocent. So Graham had a lot of people murdered. Mm. But Sanjar is part of the corporation. An MSI. Mm. Honestly. You know, I wonder if I can talk to Zora. I wonder if I could go back. Because I gave her that information about... Graham and what he did. You know what? That's what, we're gonna, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to Amber Heights and I'm going to talk to Zora. And I'm going to see how she's feeling now that there's been a little bit of time since I told her about Graham's betrayal. And I wonder if there's going to be anything that comes of that. Because I really don't want to give the module to Sanjar and... My little hermit buddy, the broker up in the tower, doesn't want to take it. But the gun away. So there's that. Can't give it to the broker, because the broker don't want it. Don't have nothing to do with it. Where is she? What is this? Current patience. Where's Sora? There she is. Captain, we should chat. Oh, are Graham's you gonna Graham's got mutiny? the right idea, but he isn't the right guy to execute it. I don't even think he's motivated by philosophism anymore. I think he's just guilt-ridden. I can't believe I'm even saying this, but... Ah, yes! I keep yes! going over and over oh! and over. And the only way I see the Iconoclast surviving is... We depose him. Mutiny! <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. I really hope she takes it up the mantle. I haven't come across any zombies in this game. <laughs> Would you run it in history? Yeah. Hell, most yes! of people listen to me uh -huh, This is exactly what I wanted. Yes. Well, you Take do. Take Stellar Bay. Lick our mm -hmm. wounds. 
Eventually, figure out how the hell we're going to spread the word to the rest of the colony. Ah, oh, but she's going to take Stellar Bay. Oh, man. I hope... Uh, see, this is this is where the problems come in. Because I do like her. I like her a lot. But she wants to take Stellar Bay, and there are people in Stellar Bay that I like. Oh, uh, but I hate the corporation so much. I have a feeling, though, Zora wouldn't, like... I think I don't think she would just straight up murder people. I'm I'm putting a lot of faith in her, honestly. Sometimes you got to do what's best for someone, even if they think you're wrong, even if it's painful. When we're in Stellar Bay, they'll come around. Okay. 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 My perception is not high enough. Ugh. Okay. You know what? Fair enough. I'm going to confront him. Can I count on your support? Yes. Okay. Deep breaths. This is what's best, Sora. Time to save Monarch. Because the thing is... The Iconoclast, they just don't want to be part of Halcyon Corporation anymore. And I've seen, I saw on Edgewater what the corporation was doing to people. You you even have to pay gravesite fees for, like, dead relatives. So... Captain, you must be back with the access codes to our new ship. Graham, we need to talk. We have work to do. This isn't the time for one you're of our considered, spats. You're considered the personal property of the Halcyon Corporation. And just like any, like any of the corporations. So, I don't know. I just, I don't approve. I just don't like Graham because he treats it like a cult. And Zora wants to treat it as they're living their own, their own society away. Nobody has to work for the corporation. Everybody's just living normally. So. Stand down. I'm afraid I don't understand, Captain. You're running the Iconoclast into the ground, and I don't believe it'll get better after we take Stellar Bay. The troops take orders from me already, and you've... You've brought me as far as you can down the eternal path. It's time to step down. The troops? Listen to you. This isn't an army. They aren't soldiers. They're believers. Followers. They pick up a gun because you tell them to, not because they want to. And you, Captain, after all you've done for me, <laughs> for us, oh you God. throw behind this mutinous blasphemer? <clears throat> she, she's gonna be the better leader. I just, she is. She's got the best interests of the iconoclast at heart. I built this movement from the ground up. I've brought freedom to Monarch, and all these years later, we're still free. I joined because I believed that you were in it for the Iconoclasts. That you wanted nothing more than to bring freedom to Halcyon. That you were selfless. But... I know the truth now, Grim. I know what happened in Amber Heights. You didn't start this movement because you wanted to save us. You wanted to save yourself. No. Those deaths are on. I honestly don't really have a right to say this because <laughs> I'm like this big old outlaw going around killing people. You ran. You needed a clear conscience, so you ran. I escaped the corruption of the endless cycle of corporate greed. Yes, I ran from that. But now, I'm ready to face it once more. I've spent years atoning for my sins. I've studied, meditated, taught. I built the Iconoclasts so that any man could cast away his past for a fresh start. That's your answer, Graham? You needed a fresh start? After all those innocent lives? You tell him, girl. I'm sorry. I believed in you once. I did. But it's over. Stand down. I won't. 
What happened back then was a mistake, and the colony has moved on. This is my movement. These are my people. If you want to lead them, you'll have to kill me. Okay. Ugh. I want to shoot him in the head, but I'm not going to. Unless I have to. That isn't necessary. Please. Don't make me do this, Graham. If this is where my path ends, I accept it. But as long as I draw breath, I will not abandon them. He's really making it seem like we don't have a choice. So be it. Here they come. Oh! <laughs> don't mess with us. Oh, that was... You know what? She deserved to kill him. It's okay. It's okay. She she deserved to kill him. It's fine. This This wasn't... Even though I wanted to do it, it's okay. It's okay. Leave you with nothing. I mean, these people needed food and medicine, and he wanted to get magazines for entertainment. And it's like, yeah, you can get all that later. But you needed supplies, my guy, and you didn't want to get supplies. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I'm going to be posting this video to YouTube um, in the morning. So <laughs> you, can, you can watch it tomorrow if you want. Well, Captain, here we are. Killed a lot of people in the name of the Iconoclasts, and it never feels right. But this time, it's especially wrong. You've got the... Void held me. I'll never remember she what that uh... thing is called. The device from the ship. Do you I have it? I think it was actually Ellie that took her knife and stabbed him. Not... I don't think it was Zora. I think it was Ellie. But he died, so... That's the point. <sighs> actually... Is this an option? Can I make them join forces so no one has to die? Because Sanjar is a little peon, weakling. I could probably convince him to join forces. Is there a way I could do this without any more bloodshed? Because I would prefer that because there are a couple of people... Well, there's really... Like, maybe one person. No, there's like two or three. In Cellar Bay, I don't want them to die. Maybe you and Sanjar can join forces. I thought about forces. it, but... I think we're too far gone. Pulling Carlotta's support was crossing a line. <gasps> ah, yes. Ooh, which one? Which, what was it you said? Sometimes the best option is the most painful one. Or Sanjar has corporate resources you could use to spread the message. Sometimes the best option is the most painful one. Ugh, but my persuade... But they're about the same. She may not care about the corporate resources, though. That's... Not exactly it, but you've got a point. I've lost a hell of a lot to this fight. Graham would never agree to this, but I'm starting to realize how often Ugh. he led us astray. I'd have to convince All right. Sanjar to if do it. If he's willing to talk, I'll give him a chance. I know it's a long shot, but I'll try. All right. So now... I need to talk to Sanjar to convince him. This is not where I need to go. Maybe I can convince the two groups to work together. Because I, I really don't, you know, want them all killing each other. All right. Okay, so that's the, what that's what we're gonna do. 
I'm gonna go talk to Sanjar. I got a message, hold on. Okay, now. Uh, I'm gonna go back to Stellar Bay. Yeah, I think it was Ellie that stabbed him, but Zora did shoot at him. And I shot him with my flamethrower of acid. So it was like a group effort. Alright, I'm gonna save real quick because I sometimes have a really bad, like, finger that will accidentally press the wrong dialogue option. I've seen this happen in several RPGs that I have played, and I don't want to mess this up. I really want this to work out. Alright, you, let's talk. If the Iconoclasts reach that ship first, there won't be any chance for a peaceful monarch. I don't suppose you've found the targeting module yet. I've sent patrols, but they're running into trouble with the iconoclasts. Now listen here. Okay. Could you agree to a truce with the iconoclasts? They're all mad. And what's more, they left us. I don't see any way for us to work together. <laughs> I've read your review, Sanjar. You can't do this alone. Uh, not this again. Remember what we practiced, sir. Yes. The words in those reviews were very hurtful, but they do not define me. I am a mantipillar, and my will is my cocoon. Oh my I can emerge and become whatever I wish. <laughs> If you're real mean. You're good with details. Because he seems sensitive. I don't really want to hurt his feelings. You're good with details. But you could use someone who sees the big picture. You too? She has a point, sir. And it's not all bad. Thank you, Celia. Supposing you're That's right. why I like you. Who exactly would you have me work with? The Iconoclasts are not the most compromising sorts. How did things get so bad between you and the Iconoclasts? Oh, how do these things ever start? Once upon a time, Graham and I saw the same problems with MSI. A rigid corporate structure with no regard for its people. But, where I wanted to reform MSI, he only wanted to take it apart. As if starving in the wilderness is somehow better than starving under corporate <laughs> mismanagement. Make he wouldn't cry. hear reason, and I doubt any of his successors will either. Zora leads the Iconoclast now. What about That's her? That's an interesting suggestion. I confess I don't know much about her except that she worked for Rizzo. There ain't a body on this planet that can keep a group patched up like she has. I don't know how she does it. I'd be willing to consider it. But I need to see her review first. Oh, shove it up your ass. I, oh, yeah. Thankfully, I am... You know, I like to explore everything. So, I found the review. Very well. I can't promise anything, but let's see what we have Oh, here. I, sh I was going to show it to well, Zora. It well, like I'm kind of glad I didn't, because now I have something that... very qualified. See, I'm glad I didn't it show it to her. her. I'd wager the Iconoclast would have died off a while ago. Neoka's right. All right. I'll have Celia organize a meeting in neutral territory, the old OSI church in the ruins. Meet us there, and we'll discuss terms. Very well. Oh, this could either go very, very well or very, very wrong. Oh, for fucking crap. For fucking sake. There, okay. So I don't have to go back to Zora to tell her. I can just head straight to the old... To the OSI church. I can establish peace. Can I do this? I really want this to work out. I really want this to work out.
See, I like Celia, and then there was a guard named Grim that I really like. And then there's these two. The mama and the mama's boy. She treats she treats him like he's still five years old. That's that's not a healthy relationship, but that's none of my business. She paid me to go get him, and I did. <laughs> so. <laughs> but I, mostly Celia and Grim, and then the guy that Celia has a crush on. I I just I did I I like them. I don't want them to die. And I want this to work out. I want everybody to become friends. They can all work together. Because the enemy is the corporation and the board. It's the board. They're all acting like children. Good old Stellar Bay. Only place on the planet that don't stink of sulfur. On account of it stinking like fish instead. All right. Am I the only one getting hungry? I'm gonna save because I'm the type of person that if it goes wrong, I am going to start over and try again until I until they're all friends. Okay. Hey, thanks for coming. I wish I'd had more time to prepare a proper analysis on the costs and benefits of your proposed union, but uh, I suppose we'll have to improvise. That's the spirit. Gotta admit, I really thought I was walking into a trap here. I'm ready. I get the feeling this is gonna take a while. Probably Sanjar, so. Sanja, Stellar Bay's got food and walls, and my people need both. If you'll have us, we're willing to share the space. Do you have any idea what that would cost? Why, drawing up the budget alone is going to take weeks. <laughs> if you're going to draw up a budget, I'd appreciate a paycheck. <laughs> what if the Iconoclast just supported your supply lines? Not good enough. I need to move a fair amount of my people into the city. We need shelter, Captain. Being stubborn about this isn't going to get you anywhere. I'm not saying live outside. Just help out in the wilderness once in a while. Suppose some of our healthier folk could offer aid. Some of us need to stay in the city proper, though. Well, I'll be damned. If you two can work together... Maybe there's some hope for this place after all. Truly a compromise? I'm not sure I'd ever have heard as much from Graham. Graham was a murderous fiend. And I'd be shocked if you didn't already know that. Something tells me Sanjar didn't know. This feels like one of those times when everyone at headquarters but me is laughing at something. But you two aren't laughing. Amber Heights, you hallhead. Ten years ago, Graham had all those people killed. What? That's not possible. Even for him, that's going too far. No, it's not. You're missing the big picture for the details again. Wasn't it convenient how they all died just after blocking a proposal? It is. We found correspondences between him and the pirates. But that means... I had no idea, I swear. Look, we were both fed up with corporate leadership, but I, I never guessed he'd do something like that. I buy it. Sanjar ain't capable of hurting a sprat, even from a distance. No, of you course can't not. You can't take bureaucrats at probably their barely hold a gun. You back someone into a corner like this, and they'll say anything to get out of it. Take it back a notch, Sora. You're here for your people, not the past. I... Okay, okay. You're right. Sorry. It'll take me a while to get over losing Graham. You do have to calm her down you know, a little bit. She's, you know, a little I bit of a hothead. I felt the years ago when he first left. You know, there was something magnetic about him that lets you ignore the things you didn't want to see. 
But surely you know what that's like. I bet you were in love with him, huh, Yeah, Sajar? I... I do. Okay, if you're willing to house and supply some of us, I'll have our more capable soldiers help out. Now hug it out. <laughs> hug it out. Glad to hear it. I'm hopeful about the signs. Now I'm gonna choose. Now hug it out. Ooh, I'm sorry, but I'll need to sign a physical contact waiver first. <laughs> Thanks for coming out, Sanjar. I, uh, guess I'll see you at Stellar Bay. Yes. 50 bits says they kill each other before the week's out. I'll be gone by then. Not Can my problem. Talk? What's up, Ellie? I don't think I've done a personal quest for Ellie yet. And I did one for Nioka, and she's not even, like, part of the ship or anything. So. What's up? Things on Monarch have really cooled off. I didn't think MSI and the Iconoclast would ever talk. Outside of shouting four-letter words, I mean. It just goes to show you, there's always a peaceful option. Sure, and fish sticks are really made from Saltuna. Look, I won't knock the work you did. I'm sure they'll have a good cry, look through old photographs, share a pint of premium double chocolate cacao gelato. Ooh, that sounds good. But sooner or later, things will go back to the way they were. People don't change. Not really. You sound like you have some trauma. That was a very specific image, Ellie. Sounds like you're rooting against them. But you're looking for the good in people. It sounds like you're rooting against them. Just being realistic. As long as they keep their business on Monarch, their situation's got nothing to do with me. Anyway, I'd hate to see you get broken up if this thing between them doesn't last. Nice to know you care. Hey, let's not make this out to be more than it is. Anything else? You like me. You want to be my best friend. Let's go. Da, 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 da. Ah. We have created peace on this hellhole of a planet. And now everybody's going to be friends. Kinda. You have relayed the promise data back to Phineas. Travel to his lab and speak with him to discuss the next steps. I still need to go talk to Lilia on the Groundbreaker. And then I've got all of these companion quests to do. So. I think what I'll do... Actually, I'm curious. Where's the entrance to the city? Oh, this way. Oh look, they're all they're all going inside. I'm so glad I was able to make them all like be friends. Well not friends, but at least they're all gonna work together. Oh look, already the Halcyon Observer. MSI joins forces with the Iconoclast Radicals. And now they're all going to work together. And Stellar Bay is going to be a whole new place. So it'll be interesting to see how well everyone works together. Or they'll all fight. Who knows? It feels thoroughly strange to be allied with an actual corporation. But I gotta admit, 
It has its perks. They're fine. They harass one another. Stooge this, fanatic that. It's all in good fun. No blood yet. Of course, because it just happened. Well. Honestly, I'm I'm really glad I was able to do that. Because I really didn't want to have to... I didn't... I didn't want to have to, like deal with the with any like major bloodshed so really the only major casualty was graham and i don't feel like that was such a big loss so okay i'm gonna get back on the ship I'll ever want to see you again. Ugh. Stupid romantic queens. Blech. I'm assuming Nyoka is coming with me. I bet you'll like Rebecca. What's up? Yeah, she is, because I have to do her companion quest, and her companion quest, she has to come with me, because she's got to find her, her old crew, so, it's okay. Little happy family, just like Firefly. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. Oh, great. Who's fighting? Now, hold on. What happens if we hit the wall? Most likely, the bullet will ricochet, which could be bad. Or hilarious. There's a tiny chance of a hull puncture, which would suck us into space one chunk at a time. Bad and hilarious. Ugh. Just imagining that makes me sick. Are they about to- That's why we don't miss. What are y'all doing? What? What are y'all doing on my ship? Something on your mind? Hey, Cap. Parvati showed me how to properly grease the magazine release on one of my firearms. She's a smart one, you know. Opal was quiet in the same way. She'd hang back, out of sight, then all of a sudden pop in with a bit of wisdom out of nowhere. Shit. Look at me dredging up bygone days. Forget I said anything. You are also traumatized. I'm not pushy. Talk when you're ready. I will. Hey, girl. Sometimes I can hear Vickers saying prayers to himself. Sometimes I hear him cussing about toss ball scores. Oh, you mean Sam? He's just the sweetest, ain't he? A real charmer, my dad'd say. Mm, he's a robot, though. Have you given him a nickname yet? Nah, but I've been thinking on one. Gotta get to know him better, I think. Maybe ask him what he prefers. Parvati. It ain't nice to give folks a nickname he's... without him giving you the okay first, you know? He's a robot. Of course, that don't stop Felix. He's a robot. I'm assuming that's the disturbance, unless unless the boys are fighting again. That's Sam's room. I think this is yeah, this is Parvati's room. He likes plants. This is Felix's room. The vicar's room. <laughs> He's still in that armor. Ellie's room. Oh. We gotta talk about this. And Nioka's room. 
Talk, talk about what? Who are, who are you talk, talking to? I can't believe I wanted to shake his hand. I need a shower. It makes you wonder if being a treacherous, two-timing coward is some sort of contagious disease, or if he was just born that way. Is this about Graham? At first, I liked what Graham was doing. The iconoclasts were going to change Halcyon for the better. Oh, did you look up to him? But then, we found out Graham was behind the slaughter of Amber Heights. How can anybody so morally bankrupt he lead a movement to fast. transform the colony? Don't go looking for role models, Felix. You're just asking to be lied to. Yeah, maybe you're right. You'd never do something like that, would you? Slaughter a whole community of innocents? What kind of question is that, Felix? <laughs> sure, for the right price. <laughs> no. Never. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's get back to it. I need to put all this ugly business with Graham behind me. The turlet. Hey, Sam. Dust accumulation analysis. 2.5 years. Because I have the phobia to robots, I can run away screaming. Error. This unit is unable to process the service request. Ah! Customer, please repeat the command. Because <laughs> I still have that phobia. <sighs> I wonder... Ah, space. I wonder, do I have any new messages? No. No new messages. Dang. Okay. I think now I'm going to call it a night. So, thank you all for watching. Next time um, I play, I'm going to do the companion quests. And then after I do the companion quest, I'll go and talk to um, Phineas. But um, I'll and and I'll post this video to YouTube, uh, Lady Catastrophe YouTube channel. Um, this weekend I'm gonna continue my Five Nights at Freddy's um, journey with Five Nights at Freddy's Four. So I'll be doing that Saturday and Sunday night. So look out for that. Because according to my husband, that's the, the scariest one is FNAF 4. So. Thank you guys for watching. Um, this is Lady Catastrophe signing off.